There's two ways to conquer the world. One is by conquest and two is by inclusion. What the US government is doing is by conquest, any country that doesn't want to use the dollar gets invaded. Examples, Iraq wants to use the euro for oil, invaded, destroyed. Libya wants to use gold, they get invaded, they get destroyed. So the other countries fall in line. On the opposite end of this, you have Bitcoin, which is inclusion. The more people that use the network, the more valuable the network becomes. And it's mutually beneficial to expand the network and have other people adopt Bitcoin. If you zoom out, Bitcoin is more than a tool, a financial tool to just make money. It is a tool of freedom and peace because the bigger Bitcoin gets, the less spending power the governments of the world have and it defunds wars. But once the government realizes what a threat Bitcoin actually is, they're going to try to take it out. When Bitcoin passes $100,000, it will be an inflection point and Western governments will crack down. So you have to be very careful. If you have Bitcoin, you need to keep it off of exchanges. And unfortunately, people that are investing in Bitcoin mining operations in the US, I believe these are going to be shut down in the future. And you need to be careful where you are Bitcoin mining. But this is a powerful you know, tool because Government's time to spend unlimited money and finance foreign wars without the public's you know, support is going to come to an end and they are not going to go into the night silently and they're going to fight tooth and nail for this. So I really believe Bitcoin is going to be your ticket out of town in the future and that you need to look at getting a second passport or in second residency if you're in a Western country. So if you're interested in learning more, buying Bitcoin miners or getting a second residence in Latin America, follow me, the Bitcoin capitalist, and check out my link in the bio.